Good day, beloved, and welcome to another day of our prayer session. The Lord has been faithful to us all this while. We have been seeing what the Lord is doing in our life in the course of our waiting on Him and seeking His face. Today we'll be praying again as we are almost done with the prayer for this season. I want to appreciate everyone for being part of this. And the blessings of the Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Quickly, I want to read to you as we pray today. I'm reading from the book of Joshua, chapter 20, 21. The book of Joshua, chapter 21, and it was 44. I'm reading to you Joshua, chapter 21, and verse 24. Verse 44, as we begin to pray. The scripture says in Joshua, chapter 21, and verse 24, and said, and the Lord gave them rest. Who are the them? And the Lord grant and the Lord gave Israel rest. He ran about. And the Lord gave Israel rest round about according to all that he has swore to their father. And there stood not a man of any of the enemies before them. Look at verse twenty two chapter twenty twenty three and in verse one. Chapter twenty three and in verse one and the scripture say and the and it, and it came to pass and it came to pass a long time after that the lord has given rest unto israel from all their enemy round about the rest god grant israel rest and after several years later it was still recorded in chapter chapter 23 that the lord has grant israel rest on all sides and that from their, all their enemies. That is what we are going to be praying about. As we begin to round up, we are going to pray and ask the Lord that the Lord would grant us rest. That the victory that the Lord has given to us in the course of this season, that that victory will last in our lifetime. We have possessed our inheritance. We have asked the face of the Lord. The Lord has done great things for us in this in 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 second season, in the second half of the year. And as we journey to the very half of the second, as we journey to the end of the year, throughout the second half, the prayer we are praying today is that Lord, grant me rest on all sides, not just once, not just twice, but the simplicity for a long time. After a long, it came to pass after a long time. Look at verse twenty-three, chapter twenty-three, verse one says it again. It says. Chapter 23, verse 1 also say again, And it came to pass a long time after God has given, after the Lord has given rest unto Israel from all their enemy round about. You see, and it came to pass a long time. In chapter 1, in chapter, in chapter, 20, in chapter 21, in verse 44 he said and the lord gave the lord gave them rest round about according to that which he promised and swear to their father and there was no man able that was able to stood against them and even at that in chapter 23 he was sitting that after a longer time he said that, that that's the diary the, the rest lasted for a period it lasted for a longer time in during their lifetime throughout the days of joshua that is what they are going to be crying out at this time. We are going to tell the Lord. Now we are asking Lord that, that you grant us rest. You have given us rest. And we are asking of you that this rest will be all our lifetime. We possess our inheritance in all our lifetime. We possess everything that God has given us for our lifetime. The prayer we are praying this morning is, O oh Lord, grant me rest on all sides. According to your word, grant me rest on all sides. Grant my family rest on all sides. Grant my children rest on all sides. Grant my loved ones rest on all sides. Grant our nation, Nigeria, rest on all sides. That is the prayer we are praying today. We are telling the Lord, Oh Lord, grant us rest. We need rest on all sides. Grant us rest on all sides. But before we begin to pray, let's first of all begin to open our mouth and begin to appreciate Him for what He has done for us. Appreciate Him for His faithfulness 
Jesus, I appreciate him for his love. I appreciate him for his sufficient grace. I appreciate him for all he has done for us. Give him all the glory. Give him all adoration for his great, marvelous art and marvelous mercy. For all he has done for us this year. For what you have done for us from the beginning of the year till this time. Open your mouth and appreciate him and give him all the glory. I appreciate him for what he has done for you. From the beginning of the first day of the second half of the year. He has been faithful from the first day of the month of July down to this very day. It is a great thing that the Lord has done for us. Open your mouth and appreciate him for evil fighting our battle, for granting us deliverance from the ocean. The scripture says, when the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of the Lord raises up standing against it. That is his mercy speaking for us. Open your mouth and appreciate God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to appreciate you for all we have done for us. Thank you for what you have done for us. When you say, well, for, the, for the call, I will answer. The why they yet speak, I have answered them. Oh, Lord, we worship you for answers to prayer. When we call us, we call upon you. Thank you for all you have done for us. We are grateful, Lord, that here. Thank you, Adonai. Thank you, Eternal One. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, the great marvelous King. Thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you for your free intervention of our life. Thank you for your visitation. Thank you for all you've done for us. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the safety. Thank you for the intervention. It has been you all the way. If not for you, what would have become of us? Your mercy keeps speaking for us from day to day. We come to worship you. Father, we give you all the glory. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name at eternal Blessed be your name, the ancient of days. We give you all the glory. To you be all the glory. Great things that you have done. Beloved, open your mouth and appreciate him for great and marvelous things that he has done in our life. He is a great God and none can be compared to him. He is a great God and none can question him. He has done so much for us that our mouth cannot tell. Father, we worship you. Adonai, we give you all the glory. Give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. Receive our praise today. Receive our praise today. Receive our praise for all you have done. You are the Elohim. Jehovah, the eternal one, we worship you. The eternal one, we worship you. Jehovah, Elohim, we worship you. Our Father and Omega, we worship you. You are Jehovah in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. In Jesus' name, we worship you. You are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are the covenant keeping God. You are Jehovah. Oh, uh, you are a covenant keeping God. You are Jehovah. Hey, you are Jehovah. You are a covenant keeping God. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Hey, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. The mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. You are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Hey, you are Jehovah, you are Jehovah, the mighty man of all, you are Jehovah, you are the mighty man of all, you are Jehovah. Oh, the we make I, you are Jehovah. I follow me, God, you are Jehovah. Oh, the mighty man of all, you are Jehovah. 
We love open your mouth and appreciate him because he's the Jehovah. No one can be compared to him. He has so so much for us. Look at all the words the Lord has done for us. He has been so faithful. His mercy has been speaking. His grace has been sufficient. His loving hands has been made visible in our life right from the beginning of the second half of this year to this very time. Is the Lord not been so faithful? He's faithful to us. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Father, I appreciate you. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for my parents. Thank you for my loved ones. Thank you for my uh, thank you for your wife. Thank you for your husband. Thank you for your parents. Thank you for your loved ones. Thank you for your relatives. Thank you for everyone around you. Thank you for his mercy that he has revealed. Thank you for his grace of each and grace that he made available to every one of us. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Father, we gave you all the praise. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, eternal one. The great I am that I am. The one that who was an age to come. The one who never failed. The one who never changed. We bow before that throne of mercy. And we say, Daddy, take all the glory. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name for all you've done for us. We have been so faithful. Faithful you are. Lord, we give you all the glory. Uh, Father, we worship you. Blessed be your name. Thank you to answer to prayer. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the safety. Thank you for the provision. Thank you for doors you have opened. Thank you for deliverance from the hands of the wicked. Thank you for all you've done for us, especially in this season. Father, we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we will. Beloved, now we are going to pray. We're going to pray this prayer, one prayer point before we round up today. We're going to pray one prayer point and ask the Lord. We're going to tell the Lord and say, Lord, I come before thee today and I ask of you, o Lord, you that grant Israel rest. And if you say, and the Lord give Israel rest on us, round about, round about, round about. Lord, I ask for a round about rest. Round about rest. A run about rest. Lord, I ask for a run about rest. In the name of Jesus, a run about rest. Lord, God, me a run about rest. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth up here. I run about rest. It's rest on our side. Rest on our side. Financial rest. Financial rest. More career rest. Ministerial rest. I shall be local. And the Lord grant them rest and the Lord give rest to Israel round up that their enemy no, no man no man of their enemy could stood before them that is the, the same promise that God gave to us in the revelation he said I have set there for an opener that no man can show that is rest Open your mouth and pray and say, Oh Lord, I ask of you, oh Lord, I ask for the grace, the grace to receive rest. I receive rest on, on our side today. I receive rest on our side. I receive rest on our side as we journey into the rest days of the year. As we journey into our, in our life, oh Lord, I receive rest. Open your mouth and decree and say, Lord, I receive rest. I receive rest. I receive rest. I receive rest. rest grand about rest round about rest round about rest round about rest oh like in the days of joshua open your mouth and pray 
Oh Lord, grant me marital rest. That are you married? Ask the Lord. Are you married? Ask the Lord to give you rest in your family, in your marriage. Lord, there are marriages that are troubled. There are families that are troubled. Oh, what you need is just a rest from the Lord. And the prayer says, Oh Lord, grant me marital rest. Oh Lord, grant me marital marita rest. There are people that are the that are single. Are you single? Why not ask the Lord? Oh Lord. Oh, grant me marital rest. Give me the bone of my bone and the flesh of my flesh. Open your mouth and make the decree now. Lord, rest on us. What is the pain around you? What is the concern around you? Ask the Lord and say, Lord, rest on us. 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 I need to rest, Daddy. Grant me rest on us. That should be your prayer. Pray and ask the Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord, I need rest on our side, rest on our side, financial rest. Grant me, O oh Lord, health to rest. That just we are, we are, we are bustling in good health, that we are living in good health. We have the divine health assurance from heaven that we are in perfect health. And the Lord has kept you in perfect rest and in perfect peace. Open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord, O oh Lord, give me health to rest. Round about rest, round about rest, round about rest in my health round about rest in my finance round about rest in my ministry round about rest oh in the days look look what the scripture says in the days see in the days of solomon solomon do not fight i say in good battle but because the lord has used his father david to fight battle for him so the solomon experienced rest all through his reign and there was rest for the children of Israel, when we pray and ask the Lord, and say, oh Lord, grant me rest on our side, I receive rest on our side, I receive rest of our rest on our side. Uh, this is my outro. Oh Lord, as I journey in the rest month of the year, as we journey in the rest days of the year, as we journey in the days of rest days, in all the days of our life, oh Lord, we ask of you that you grant us rest. Grant me there. Open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord. Oh Lord, are you a minister? Are you a minister? Oh Lord, you are a set man in the ministry. When I pray and ask the Lord, oh Lord, grant me rest on us. Grant, see, if you are in ministry, God granting you rest on our side means that God bringing across your way the right people that will help you to fulfill your God given assignment. Bring oh, the Lord, bringing men and women around you, bringing men and women. And in ministry, there are different kind of men that God brings up men who are loyal to you, men who are submissive to you, men who understand your vision, men who, who are. There to the who are who are financial helpers, men who are counseling helpers, men who give you the right wisdom. Open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord. Oh Lord, grant me ministerial rest. Grant me ministerial rest. Grant me ministerial rest. When you have the right people around you working with you, you have rest in the ministry. You will do it that which please the Father. When you pray and ask the Lord, oh Lord, grant me rest on us. In ministry, Lord, grant me rest. In finance, grant me rest. In health, grant me rest. Open your mouth and begin to make a demand. Pray for, for the nation where you are. Pray for the community where you are. If the Lord grant you rest on our side, it makes the environment conducive. It makes the community peaceful. Open your mouth and make a demand. Oh Lord, grant me rest. Grant my nation rest. A grant about rest to my nation, a run about rest to our economy, a run about rest to people, my community people. He no should be Zamalakand. Rest on us, 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 in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask of you that you will grant unto us rest on us, in the name of Jesus. We ask of you rest, rest on our side, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. 
we pray in verse 20 chapter, chapter 23 and verse 1 that we read that is the second prayer point and we begin to round up that this is the second prayer point there is a reason there are other scriptural verses in the bible that speak about god granting people rest but i choose this one as led by the spirit because it has some unique quotation unique connection con- 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 connotation to what we are seeking for first of all you have to repay that Allah has granted us rest on all sides a roundabout rest a roundabout don't forget that a roundabout rest is what we prayed for now we are going to pray this, this second part and we as, as we begin to round up in chapter 23 and in verse 1 he said and it came to pass a long time after God has given rest unto the children of Israel from their enemy after God a long time after God has granted Israel rest from their enemy you're going to make a demand and ask the Lord oh Lord this rest shall be for, for lifetime this rest that you have granted me today it shall be for lifetime it shall be for lifetime it shall be a lifetime rest if you receive a rest from the Lord in a, in just in the month of July alone and in the month of August you are in, you are in, you are down you are, you are enslaved again then that rest is not complete that is why you will cry and ask the Lord and say oh Lord I ask for rest a long time rest a lifetime rest a lifetime rest round up a lifetime rest round up open your mouth and pray open your one that matter prayer. Oh Lord Finasher lifetime rest financial lifetime rest marital lifetime rest ministerial lifetime rest family lifetime rest open your mouth and pray and ask the lord oh god of heaven i ask of you today that thou would grant unto me a lifetime of rest a lifetime of rest a lifetime of ministerially a lifetime of rest maritally a lifetime of rest financially a lifetime of rest at one a lifetime of rest. I receive a lifetime of rest. I receive lifetime health. I receive lifetime health and health, health insurance. I receive lifetime of healthy life. I receive lifetime rest for my family. Rest, rest, rest from every affliction. Rest from every pain. Rest from every anxiety. Rest from every worry. I decree whatever we want to take away this rest. I decree to them, let it be scattered. Open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord. Oh Lord, I receive a lifetime rest. A lifetime and the the Lord after the Lord has granted rest for a long time and it came to pass that the Lord after a long time that the Lord grant is the rest from their enemy. Open your mouth and pray. And rest from adversity. Rest from the from adversity. Rest from evil. Lord shall grant you a lifetime of rest. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask of you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, a lifetime of rest, a lifetime of rest, minister, a lifetime of rest, a lifetime, a lifetime financial rest, a lifetime, a lifetime career rest, a lifetime, a lifetime ministerial rest, a lifetime marital rest, a lifetime family rest from all evil, rest from all from all evil, from all our enemy. Oh Lord, you will deliver us from every enemy. A lifetime in that your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Be the resorted. Be the resorted. Be the resorted. Thank you, Adonai. I give you all the prayer. Beloved, open your mouth and begin to worship him. Him to give him all the glory, give him to appreciate him for all he has done, appreciate him for answers to prayer, appreciate him for how far he has seen us through to this very time. Give him all the glory, give him all the adoration. 
In the name of Jesus, give him all the praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Adonai. We worship you. We give you all the glory. Let your name alone be glorified. And Lord, we decree from this moment upon your children, upon our life, upon our family, upon our finance, upon our ministry. Rest on us, sir. And this rest shall last for a long time, for a, life, a lifetime rest. We receive lifetime rest in ministry, in finance, in family, in our children, in all around us, in the name of Jesus. Glorify yourself that your name alone be glorified. Thank you, Adonai, for we give you all the praise. Thank you for your answer. For in Jesus' mighty name, name we have prayed. Amen and amen. We love God bless you. And the Lord keep you. And the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. As you run through the second half of the year. And as you run all the days of your life. The Lord will grant you rest on your side. I pray that the Lord be with you. And the Lord grant everything that you have requested of him in this season. And the name of the Lord be glorified in Jesus name.